rest of Blog 151, there's quite a few nice changes this week. The first thing I want to talk about is vending machines. Say if this one has something in it, and there's, I've placed one over there somewhere, you can't see it. Um, it doesn't have anything in it. Now on the map, the one that is stocked will be green, and the one that has nothing in it will be red, so you'll be able to indicate which ones will be worth visiting. You don't want to get to somewhere and find out the vending machine is empty, that would be a massive pain in the ass. And another thing is the locker. I've been playing around with this for a, for a minute or two and it's really good. You can put a code lock on it as you can see here. Now when you open it there will be three sets of um, gear. So if I want to go out into the snow I'll take this one. You do swap and it puts everything from your clothing slots and your belt into it. So you can have up to three three kits available. So if I want to go um, gathering food, just swap into that one. And it's easy as that. And then it will put what you had on straight into the um, available slot there. Now if I want to go out to kill people, I'll choose this one. And instantly I'm geared. All my weapons are down here. So I can go out and kill people. Now that's really good. It will save a lot of time re-gearing after you've been killed, especially if you're being raided. You know, there's nothing worse than scavenging around trying to find ammunition or, or or armor, you know. And I'll just find out what that costs to make it. Here it is, the locker. 100 metal fragments, 50 wood, so it's dirt cheap. You know, you you can have two or three of these if you want. Even more if you're, if you're playing with a lot of people. And that would just be really good. You can put code locks on them, like I said, so you can have your own one. A uh, teammate could have his own one, etc, etc as well. Okay, I'm not actually going to show you this one because I... I actually just can't be bothered looking, but you can now find turret parts in purple boxes and in red towns. Now that's really useful, especially for someone like myself who doesn't go for airdrops, you know, who don't doesn't take chopper down. And um, actually, me and Joel got killed by a turret the other day and realised how actually really efficient they are at defending your base. So that would be really good. So you can find both the laptop and CCTV camera in boxes. Um, rad towns, barrels, you know. I can't actually see anything I can loot. Here's a box. Okay, um, just gonna end it on two things. They're going to be adding spinning wheels in. Um, one of which is a spinning wheel. You'll be able to use it to make decisions. Now, this is just for role players, I'm assuming. I don't actually know what you need to make the decision on in this game. But you can see like the different icons they've put on this um, image, like a gun, pickaxe, food, death, that, an axe. I love her, and I guess this is a respin. This one is in the style of a roulette spinny thing. That looks like a hypno disc, and that's nothing. So that would be cool to see what sort of skins come out for them. I can imagine there'll be quite a few. But like I said, um, if if you can think of anything that you'd actually use this for, let me know, because I'm pretty curious. And the other thing, if I can use Alt and Left Arrow to go back. Okay, this. Which is like a knitting block. It will be able to be put into a wall space and will allow you to climb up it. Uh, acts just like a ladder, which you would put on a wall anyway. I can see some use for these especially for raiding, would be quite useful for that. So yes, I'm not actually sure when they're coming in because it says that I'm implementing two new items so I thought they was in the game but it turns out they're not yet. So maybe next week or the week after we'll be seeing them and I'm going to leave it there for this week. Uh, I'll put a link to the dev blog in the description, you can go have a look there. Um, as always thanks for watching, you know if you like the video and I'll see you next time.